so you will need a couple of things first and foremost you will need a secondary android phone in my case the pixel 6a will act as a secondary android phone and the oneplus 8t will be my main phone which i will be rooting so i'll be rooting my oneplus 8t using the pixel 6a so make sure you have a secondary android phone apart from that you need a usb type c to type a or type a to type c otg adapter then it's obviously you will need a usb cable as well so you will need just a couple of things a secondary android phone and a usb type c to type a otg adapter once you have got these things let's get started please take a backup of all the data on your phone beforehand moreover let me show you currently my phone is not rooted so if i launch the root checker app and tap on verify root as you could see it's currently not rooted so let's proceed ahead and root our phone via magisk so first and foremost you will have to enable usb debugging and oem unlocking on your main phone so go to settings menu then go to about phone and tap on build number seven times in case of xiaomi you will have to tap on miui version seven times once that is done go back then go to system developer option and enable the toggle next to oem unlocking as well as usb debugging once you have enabled both this toggle you will now have to unlock the bootloader on your phone again without using the pc so for that i have made a separate guide on how you could unlock the bootloader on any android phone without the pc so this is one guide and i also made a second guide which is just for the xiaomi phones because in case of xiaomi since we have to use the me unlock tool so the guide is different for xiaomi poco and redmi for that you could refer to my this guide or the video and for all the other android phone which uses the fastboot flashing unlock command they could refer to my this guide i'll be linking both this guide but still let me show you the steps in my case the bootloader is already unlocked but still i'll show you once again how to get this job done so let me show you that as well so first and foremost we'll have to set up the working environment and boot our main phone to fastboot mode do note that unlocking the bootloader will wipe off all the data from your phone and it might make the warranty null and void as well so if that's well and good then let's get started with the steps so first and foremost you will have to install the bug jagger app from play store so this is the app as you could see then launch the app and keep it open just a minute so let me close it and restart the app so this is the bug jagger app and this is its home page the app has a few ads as well so that's not an issue so th this is the home page of the app and now what you will have to do is establish a connection between both this phone so first off connect the usb otg onto your secondary phone then connect the type a end of the usb to the otg to your secondary phone and then connect the type c end onto your primary phone so let me show that as you could see from here once you do so you will get a prompt on your secondary phone to allow the connection so tap on ok and once you tap on ok you will also get a prompt on your main phone regarding allow usb debugging and also check mark always allow from this computer by this computer we mean our secondary device so tap on allow and with this our both our phones are connected you could see the my phone number is listed here one plus eight t likewise scroll down and tap on list devices and your phone should be listed at the bottom in my case it's a one plus eight t so with this we have established the connection so now what you have to do is boot your phone to fast boot mode so just tap on reboot bootloader and your phone should now boot into fast boot mode again i am repeating i have made separate guide on both this video but still i am showing you just for the sake of convenience so as you could see our phone is now in the fast boot mode so just tap on ok if you get a prompt once again and once you are in the fast boot mode you will now have to go to the fast boot tab of the app so scroll and then go to the second last tab this is the fast boot section of the app now you have to tap on the console icon at the bottom right and check mark i am aware or i understand the risk so i understand and now you have to type in fast boot devices and hit enter and make sure that you are getting a serial id it should be the same serial id that correspond to your main phone so as you could see in my case the 5432 dce2 is the same serial id shown on my secondary phone which correspond to my main phone once that happens you will now just have to type in fast boot flashing unlock 
and hit enter and you will get a prompt on your phone use the volume key to highlight unlock the bootloader and press the power key to confirm with this the bootloader will be unlocked and your phone will then boot to the os in my case i have already unlocked the bootloader so let me now boot my phone to the os so with this as you could see we have now unlocked the bootloader and we could now proceed ahead with the next step so let's now boot our phone to the os in case you own a xiaomi phone you will have to check out my secondary guide this is a new guide and a, a separate video so so do check out this video as well for xiaomi poco and redmi the steps are slightly different so refer to this guide and get the job done so moving on once you have unlocked the bootloader without using the pc you, your next course of action so just a minute now your next course of action is to get the boot img or the init boot img file now if you your phone came with android 12 or older version then you will have to get the boot img file on the other hand if your phone came with android 13 or higher version then you will have to use the init boot img file so for example the pixel 6 the oneplus 9 and all the all such phones will use the boot img on the other hand the pixel 7 series the pixel 8 series oneplus 11 xiaomi 13 all such phones will have to use the init boot img file so once again if your phone came with android 12 or older you have to use the boot file and if it came with android 13 or higher then you have to use the init boot it does not matter the current android version does not matter what matters is with what android version your phone came shipped with initially only that matters as of now even if your phone is running android 14 that does not matter if your phone came with android 11 then you will have to use the boot img file so in my case the phone came with android 11 so i'll be using the boot img file itself so now you will have to extract the boot img or the init boot img file so for extracting you will first and foremost have to download the firmware make sure to download the same firmware which is installed onto your phone you could verify the same from the settings menu on your phone so go to settings menu then go to about phone and have a look at the build number so make sure to download the same firmware which correspond to the build number on your phone in my case it's 11079 so i will download that same firmware apart from that it should be of the same region as well so same region and the same firmware version once you have got the firmware you will have to extract it onto your phone again since we are not using a pc so in case of xiaomi redmi poco and pixel or such phones their firmware are in a zip format or a rar format you could easily extract it by installing an app from the play store any extractor app will do or likewise you could also use the inbuilt file manager app nowadays many file manager app could also extract the zip and rar files on the other hand if you have a oneplus phone then their firmware comes in the payload.bin format so in that case you will you could again extract the payload.bin even without using the pc as you could see i am again made a guide on the same on how to extract payload.bin directly on your android phone without using pc so you could refer to my guide or the video and extract the bin file upon extracting the bin file you will get a couple of files and we only need the boot img file from that so make sure to get the boot img or the init boot img file and then transfer the file onto your phone as well so just a minute let me verify the same so as of now i currently have the stock boot img file this is the boot img file which i have extracted from the firmware payload.bin file so make sure you have the bin file onto your phone once that is done let's now move ahead so now you will have to download and install the magisk app onto your main phone so i have made a separate guide so you could go to my guide and install the magisk version from here the latest build you could get it from here apart from that you could also verify the official github change log and download the apk from here once you have got the apk just install it onto your phone so let me install the magisk app so tap on install once magisk has been installed tap on open then tap on install next to magisk and select and patch a file then choose the stock boot img file and now tap on let's go magisk will now patch and flash the boot img file once that is done the file will be placed in the downloads folder so let's verify the same just a minute so as you could see we have got the magisk patch file in the downloads folder now you will have to transfer this patch file to your secondary phone 
as of now we have the magis patch boot img file onto our main phone so now you will have to transfer it to your secondary phone you could do so via any file sharing app in my case i will be using the inbuilt android nearby share so let's make a sharing just a minute let me share it so the nearby share comes inbuilt with all the android phones you just have to be on the same wi-fi network and the bluetooth should be enabled across both the phones so once that is done you could then select your phone from here your phone should be visible over here just a minute so make sure that the it's everyone and then your phone should get visible here select your phone and now you will get a prompt on your phone so tap on accept and with this we have got the magis patch boot img file onto our secondary phone so once that is done let's now move ahead the file will be placed in the download folder on your secondary phone so now you will once again have to boot your phone to fast boot mode so first off verify that the usb debugging is currently enabled once that is done launch the bug jagger app once again and now go to its main page you might get an ad that's not an issue launch the app and then tap on list devices and make sure your device is being shown here now tap on reboot bootloader and with this your phone should now boot into the fast boot mode so we'll first verify the fast boot connection as well so let's just wait and our phone is now in the fast boot mode now go to the fast boot tab the second last tab and hit the console icon now once again type in fast boot devices and hit enter and as you could see we are getting a serial id so let's now move ahead with the next step and now if you are using the boot img file that is for those phone which came with android 12 or older version then the steps are different and if you're using the initboot.img file that is for those android phone which came with android 13 or higher version the steps are different for those so as of now i will show you the step 7a which is for the boot img file if you are using the init boot img file then you will have to skip step 7a and go to step 7b so you could skip that portion of the video as of now first off i'll show you how to do so for the 7a which is the patch boot img file the file which i'll be using in my case so first and foremost what you have to do is type in fast boot one more thing i will not be directly flashing the file i will first temporarily boot to verify if everything is working well and good or not if everything is working well we could then move ahead and obtain a permanent root so for temporary root type in fast boot boot and give a space after that tap on the file icon at the top right tap here and then you will have to select the patch file which we have transferred onto our phone so this is the magic patch file which we have just transferred select it and it will now load it once loaded just hit the enter key and it will now send the boot img file onto our main phone again i am repeating i have used the fast boot boot command and not the flash command because we'll first verify if everything is working well and good or not if everything is working well and good then we could move ahead and obtain permanent root on the other hand if something is wrong with the boot img file then a simple restart will rectify all the issue that is why it's always recommended to use the fast boot boot command anyways as you could see our phone has now booted to the os so let's now launch the magic cap and verify the result so it could take up to a few seconds to load the magic for the first time as you could see the magic is now installed and even in the root checker app we should now get root let me verify the same so as you could see we have obtained root but this root is temporarily we will now have to make the root permanent for that simply launch the magisk app tap on install next to magisk select direct install tap on let's go and magisk will now patch and flash the boot img file permanently onto your phone once that is done you will have to now tap on the reboot icon at the bottom right and with this we have obtained permanent root on those phone which op which comes with android 12 or older version and are using the boot img file so let's just wait for a few seconds for a phone to boot up and i'll then verify the result and after that we could then move ahead with the next step of carrying out the root via the init boot file as well so our phone should now boot into the os in a matter of few seconds so so with this we have now obtained permanent root and 
I'll show you the result as well. So first off, let me launch the Magis app. And as you could see, it's now installed. Likewise, in the root checker app, just a minute, in the root checker app, we could now verify the root. And we have now obtained permanent root onto our phone using the boot IMG file. So guys, if you were using the boot IMG file, your guide is now complete. On the other hand, if you are using the init boot IMG file, then let's now proceed ahead. So now if you are using the init boot IMG file to obtain root, so make sure that you have transferred the patch init boot file onto your secondary phone. Once that is done, you will now have to boot your phone to the fast boot mode. So for that, make sure that USB debugging is enabled on your main phone. Then launch the bug jagger app and go to its main tab. You might get an ad as well, not an issue. Go to its main tab. Then now you have to tap on list devices and make sure that your phone is being shown here. So just a minute. In, if it's not shown here, then not an issue. Simply unplug your phone and replug it back in. And now once again, tap on list devices. And as you could see, our phone is now being shown here. So now you have to tap on reboot bootloader and your phone should now boot into fast boot mode. It will take only a few seconds. So let's just wait for the time frame. And once that happens, you will now have to go to the second last tab, which is the flashing tab. So go here, then tap on the console icon at the bottom right. And now you have to type in the command fast boot. Do keep in mind that while using the init boot IMG file, there exists no command to temporarily boot. Instead, you will have to permanently flash the file as opposed to the boot IMG file where you could use the fast boot boot command. In case of init boot, there exists no such method. Rather, you will only have to permanently flash the init boot file. So type in fast boot flash partition name, which is init boot, init underscore boot, then give a space, then tap on the file icon at the top right. And now you will have to load the init boot file. Once the file is loaded, just hit the enter key and magis and your phone, your primary phone will now have the magis patch init boot file. The file will be flashed onto your primary phone. Once that happens, you could then easily reboot your phone to the OS. So once the file has been flashed onto your main phone, just type in fast boot reboot and hit enter and your main phone will now reboot to the OS in the rooted environment. So let's verify the same as well. So in my case, since I was, I was using the boot IMG file, I cannot flash the init boot, but I've shown you the command. The command is just fast boot flash init boot, then click, hit the file icon and load the patch init boot file and hit the enter key. The file will be flashed. Then just use the fast boot reboot command and your phone will then reboot to the OS. Once that happens, you could then launch the magic app and verify the root. You will get the root. Likewise, you will get the root on to the root checker app as well. So guys, on that note, I round off this video on how you could root your Android phone without using the PC. If you have any queries, do let me know in the comment section. And thanks a lot for watching.